Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. It's been five and a little over a half of a year since I've been on the road full time raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. Got some changes that are gonna be happening. No, I'm not quitting. Just got some changes happening. Some of y'all know that I've mentioned that I'm going from full time on the motorcycle over to a van. And I've got some things that are going on and I need help with it. And don't change the channel. <laughs> don't scroll through another deal. Y'all stick around for a little bit. I'll tell my story a little bit. created a GoFundMe account, it's uh, $5,600, and that money is going to go to a van. I found a van that I want to use and convert into an RV, and that's going to be an Astro or slash Safari van, but the one that I found is a 2002 Astro van. Uh, it's going to have the top cut, cut out of it, and Fiberine is going to install a topper. I'll have a picture right here. Uh, fiberglass topper on the top. The money that I'm asking for is going to cover this, and it's not going to cover the, the build. Uh, I figured I'd just uh, do that on my own dollar, um, like I usually do. <laughs> I get people that donate money for different things. Uh, the first trailer I had was donated. Uh, the material for the second trailer was donated with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so I'm hoping the same will happen in this new era of writing for a cure. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tow the motorcycle with the van and the van will be a place that I stay, sleep in, eat, shower, poop, you know. <laughs> and it gets me out of the elements. Um, being on the road for five and a half years it is pretty hard on your body. Yes, it is. So uh, it's time to take a break from that. Um, it's not a total break. I will be going places in my van and then having it as a home base and then still riding the motorcycle, still doing events, still doing what I, I normally do to raise awareness and money. Uh, so far, I've raised a little over $25,000. Yeah, I think that's right. It's either 25 or 26, which hasn't met my goal, which is 90,000. So if you know anybody that wants to just donate $90,000 to the, uh, writing for a cure, just send them my way. And uh, then I can take my time and still raise awareness and money, but my goal will be done. Uh, so the GoFundMe, I'll have a link down below in the description. And if you just donate a dollar, five bucks, 25, anything will help so I can obtain this van and put a topper on. And then I can continue on with other stuff like I uh, normally do. Now, if you don't want, you already know my story and you don't want to listen to it, you can just stop this video, go donate at GoFundMe, and the other place you can donate also is uh, PayPal. So if you're not able to do GoFundMe or you don't want to, you can do the PayPal account. All right, my story. My son, he was around 21 years old when he was diagnosed with type one diabetes. He was in the hospital and he had a blood sugar pretty close up there to 900. My daughter called me, I rushed up there, but they figured out what it was and 
we were all didn't understand it. I mean, my son was the type of guy that was playing soccer every weekend. He would run marathons. He'd do all kinds of stuff. Uh, he was the poster boy of health. Because <laughs> he, he had six pack on his stomach there. I used to, a long time ago. When he was uh, diagnosed uh, around nine years ago, his uh, blood sugar, um, he had a low blood sugar incident and he, he died in a fiery car crash. And that pretty much devastated me uh, for a couple of years. Uh, my business was going down I, and I just wasn't focusing on things and all kinds of stuff. In January of 2018, I had this dream. The dream was that I was riding all over the country, raising awareness and money for the cure to diabetes in memory of my son. The dream was so vivid, I was handing this $90,000 symbolic check to the American Diabetes Association. Well, I told uh, the girl I was dating at the time uh, and my family, and they said, you need to do this. So I started making some phone calls. Um, I called the American Diabetes Association, made some arrangements. They're the one that created my webpage. Uh, the trailer that was donated, I saw it at the International Motorcycle Show and I'm going, oh, that would be perfect. It saved me money on hotels or whatever. Uh, so I called the people that made that trailer and I was wanting them to build me one. I flew up to Willoughby, Ohio, where Trailer Time LLC was at, and I told them what I wanted and what I wanted to build, and they pretty much just donated the, uh, the trailer to me. Uh, and it was the one I saw at the International Motorcycle Show. All this other stuff just started falling in place. And before I knew it, in uh, June of 26, I was on the road. And I've been on the road ever since. <laughs> it's just going to events, speaking engagements, uh, going anywhere that people would listen to me, hand out cards, all kinds of stuff. And I still wanna continue to do that. So that is a pretty much the story in a nutshell. Now that I, the trailer that I built is showing a lot of wear. It's almost three years since that trailer has been on the road. There's fractures and there's uh, repairs that I've done to it. It was in an accident, um, did some damage to the trailer. It ruined the jack and bent the hitch that rotates. And the insurance company took care of that stuff, uh, but the trailer itself Hairline fractures everywhere. There's a, really a bad spot that's on the left back side. And I've repaired the back lower right side. And uh, I continually fix the trailer. That's the point on that. Uh, so it's time to do something about that too. And I may build another trailer, kind of use the van and the trailer um, for whatever I'm doing. So... Uh, that would uh, work out very well. So the link to GoFundMe will be down below and the PayPal account link will also be down below. Like I said, it would be greatly appreciated whatever you donate on that. And if you're just not gonna do anything like that or go to the GoFundMe, I'll give myself, go over there and to the uh, writingforacure.com site and toss in $25. Uh, that's the whole purpose of me doing all this stuff. Or you could do both. You could put some money in the GoFundMe and some money over there to the uh, Writing for a Cure. And just so you know, everything I do is on my dime. I've got Social Security coming in. YouTube sends me some money. I got some Patreons. And all that money helps keep me on the road. Barely. Especially with inflation now. Jeez, guess got high and food and all that stuff. 
So maybe some more people will subscribe and watch YouTube and I'll get some more money. <laughs> so all that information will be down below. Catch y'all on the road. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. Thanks to all my Patreons and everybody that has donated and uh, has taken care of me. I, I uh, really do appreciate this, guys. It's, it's blown my mind on how kind and helpful everybody's been. Also, I will take you along here on YouTube uh, on the van build. And when it gets the topper put on, I'm going to have to go to California for that. Uh, that's where Fiberine is. And uh, they're supposed to be giving me a real good deal. I don't know exactly all the numbers on that. But the amount that I, uh, I need to get this going is, is pretty close to what I, I'm figuring out. So now I'm just jabbering. And I've been recording for 15 minutes. It's supposed to be a short video.